Bienvenidos, as the front part of my Spanish book in high school used to say. Oh, uh, gracias. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know anything. <laughs> hey, listen, I just canceled my Duolingo subscription, so don't expect many more Spanish words from me. But you're from Southwest Missouri. Nixa. You're in Nixa, where home of the high school that had students that kept peeing in the soap dispensers. That's correct. That yeah. is you guys. Uh, you live in L.A. now. I always find it fascinating when people from small town America find success in the entertainment scene in Los Angeles. And you're doing that. You are a writer for Mr. Beast, the largest YouTuber out there. Yes, it's crazy. Um, you know, it's weird. I, I I have a lot of friends out in L.A. that are like former like Ozarks like people, mm-hmm. like Ozark transplants. And there's an oddly high success rate. Like you may not hear about all of them, but there's a ton of people from this area like working in production, working in like behind the scenes or doing whatever. And yeah, it's nuts. It's, it's cool to, uh, you know, have a dream and it start to slowly come true after 10 years of nothing and hard work and <laughs> that's what I you know. feel like it is like you gotta I don't I've felt like that since I was a kid and I think it's because I saw um, Ryan Reynolds in the original Spring of the Teenage Witch movie in like 1995 like oh you gotta really cut your teeth for 10 years and then maybe yeah it's especially in comedy like I do stand up and other like you know comedic things like my podcast and whatnot and uh, it's like you really have to yeah like 10 years is about how long it takes to get good quote unquote quote and which you know you tell that to someone just starting out and it's kind of like how like you know how like in like sports in high school they always made the first like couple practices the hardest ones of the year to weed out the kids that didn't actually want to be there that's kind of what it's like and if you just stick with it maybe it'll work out for you or maybe it won't and you'll die in a dumpster i don't know oh my gosh i mean it's like going to med school really you're gonna do 10 years to be a doctor 10 years to maybe be a comedian yeah and i mean mean, it's it's i i would much rather because laughter is the best medicine and also medicine but i don't have health insurance so i don't so i have to i have health insurance people don't worry mom i'm gonna, i'm doing just fine my mom doesn't listen to the radio i don't think she knows how to turn one on thanks chances mom <laughs> yeah uh but no it's like a real thing where kind of going back to like being from like southwest missouri we are in a way because having met so many people because i lived in chicago for a while mm-hmm. live in la now oh, you're well traveled you're well traveled yeah. man and for a 19 year old that it's crazy how many places i've lived Mm-hmm. Um, I'm 27, but it's it, it's like a thing where we are sort of around storytelling mm-hmm. and myth and like like the Ozarks is all like like Tom Sawyer and it, it, there's there's just a weird the show Ozark the show Ozark <laughs> my can I just say anything that's based around the Ozarks there's meth involved yeah of course yeah, there is there's... it's our primary export all right. <laughs>